All right, a new uh, three concept dining experience that's going to open its doors this weekend. Here to tell us more about the Blue Marlin Restaurant in Waikiki is manager Tony Castillo and sous chef Tim Peterson. Thanks, you guys, for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's first talk about uh, the restaurant, the concept. So, uh, three concept dining experience. So, we have uh, basically for your grab and go, a uh, high tide poke cafe. Okay, number um, one. You want something small, like to eat, I guess, our tapas and sushi bar. So, $5 tapas all day, all night. And then the real dining experience uh, in the restaurant side. Wow, might take a few trips, right, from here yeah, to yeah. get everything. Okay, so let's let's talk about uh, what we have here in front of us. Um, tell us again, Tim, what this uh, is. First thing we're going to be presenting to you guys is the grilled ahi paella. Yeah. Uh, okay. Spanish inspired, uh, kind of like a crispy rice dish. Okay. Um, the Japanese chefs kind of came up with this idea. They both trained, or both Japanese chefs. One's French trained, one is Spanish trained. Oh wow! That's so uh, they came that down and they brought um, myself and the other sous chef aboard to kind of like get the fusion together. Okay, so what's what's in there and what else do we um, have here? Underneath is like a, the seafood broth, uh -huh. the rice, uh, calamari, clams, a little bit of vegetables. And we're gonna be putting the ahi on top. Gotcha. Adding even more layers. Yeah, so this is actually a, this is a Cajun spiced ahi. Okay. Well, as you put that together, maybe um, this is kind of a question for both of you, I guess. I mean, you know, when, you, when, you, when you think about putting a new restaurant together, obviously you've got to think about, okay, what is it that people here in Hawaii like? What, what, what's going to work? Uh, what were your thoughts on that? Um, a lot of people in Hawaii, you know, especially right now, the huge push is a lot of the farm to table. Yeah. Uh, so we're trying to, not as much so right now, but we are trying to work on it, you know, getting a lot of the local produce, um, showcasing a lot of the local farmers. So hopefully in the next you know month or two everything will be up and running on that part. Very nice. So you're <coughs> adding different textures yeah. there. So this is a, a guacamole and then um, tomato salsa. Then we're gonna garnish it with a little bit of cilantro. Okay. And is this not is this something else here? Yeah. This is okay. a component from our tapas bar. Oh, tapas bar, separate. So that's so how, So when people walk into the restaurant, what are they gonna see? Uh, so we actually have three entrances. Um, so again, all of three course, venues, all three in one. Entrances. So there's an entrance <laughs> for the restaurant, there's an entrance for the tapas bar, and oh then goodness. an entrance for the cafe as well. Wow. Um, so the, the bar and the restaurant is connected, divided by one wall, okay. um, with two different entrances, of course. Um, so yeah. where's, where's everybody? Now, um, I wouldn't know where to park then. Where's everybody uh, so park? we actually have parking, uh, validated parking across the street, Pro Park. It's okay. the entrance right after the Rosses okay. on Seaside Avenue. All right, sounds good. And this smells delicious. I'm so sorry we can't share it with everybody, but you saw the information uh, on your screen there. Uh, good luck to you guys. Sounds like a great concept, and the food looks amazing. Good. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank and you. And then the grilled ahi paella. And that's the grilled ahi paella with, I wouldn't have thought guacamole, but it smells wonderful. I can see why that would work. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it.